Good afternoon, fellas. Uh, it's Raptor Jesus here, drinking heavily in Kingdom Come Deliverance, as one does in the medieval times, don't you think? Um, once again in my menu, I'm sorry about that, fellas. Just trying to figure out what I want to do today. And I think I should probably go see, you know, Radzig. Yeah, I messed around, I got lost again. Trying to figure out how to get up there. Yeah, I thought I'd wake up this morning, eat a bunch of apples, and drink some mead. <laughs> I think I was supposed to take this way. Go to my menu once again, fellas. <laughs> oh, see, he's taking me to that stupid thieves place. I don't want to go there. Should have never accepted that mission. I think the road is up here. I don't know why I'm following the road instead of just walking across the grass. <laughs> oh, look, I guess it's just to find the sage. You know me, I, I love me some good uh, herb hounding while I'm playing. Oh, there we go. So are my rules. I don't, I don't pick herbs when I get a level in herbalism. That means I've wasted way too much time picking herbs. <laughs> oh yeah, I drank way too much mead this morning. I'm starting to get pretty hammered, fellers. Screen's getting all wobbly. I better try to hurry up and get to the front gate before I'm slurring my words and stumbling all over. What is this place? Walk by it a few times. Oh, I see. This is where you take a bath when you have money. <laughs> uh. And so it begins. I have to climb this hill while drunk. This is a horrible start to a day. <laughs> I hope it's not too far, fellers. Oh. Right, I'm gonna puke all over myself. <laughs> oh, look at this lady. He's gotta get bringing a water bucket all the way back into town. I hope she doesn't see me puke all over myself. It'd just be just my luck. you and where are you going? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzig Kabila of Dvoyitz. Of course you are, lad, and I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship and what makes you think he'll see you? I'm his Come on, I'm not some peasant. Idiot. I'm Sir Radzig's blacksmith and I need to speak with him. It's my job to stop you, <laughs> you bugger off. Uh, that didn't work. I may not look the part, but I know about honor and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, then go ahead. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. Should've just started with that, but I'm a little drunk. Maybe if I eat something, it'll calm down my, my drunkenness. <laughs> No. <laughs> but at least now there's something in my stomach to puke up, right? I never want to dry heave, that's the worst. Puke 
right in the water. Serves them right. <laughs> Being drunk is the worst in this game. And his murderers took everything I had. Yeah, I got lost. I actually can't see anything. How? Maybe if I talk to this here? fellow. I took you for dead. Oh, it's a long story. What about you? How did you get out of Scalitz? You wouldn't believe it. <laughs> a frightful storm broke that night, and Sigismund's heathens ran back to their camp. They never dreamed Sir Radzik would use the storm as cover for our escape. The entire village slipped away as quiet as mice while no one watched. The entire village slipped away as quiet as mice while no one watched. That was weird. In the morning when those bandits attacked, all they found was an empty castle with an old goat inside. I wish I could have seen their faces. <laughs> so do I. You tricked them nicely. See you later. The conversation was not long enough to get over this drunkenness. Uh, it's a good thing I have been drinking in real With life salt, while doing caraway this. Caraway <laughs> seeds, garlic, and more. You'll find it nowhere else. Maybe I should just stand somewhere while this drunkenness fades from my system. Just some drunk wanders in your yard and stares at your dog. <laughs> Good health to you. Did you find out what actually happened? They say Sigismund is at war with the Czech lords and abducted the king. And our lord sides with Wenceslas. How does life in Ratai suit you? Them Ratai folk would rather drive us out of here. They won't give us no work, and they won't let us beg. So what are we supposed to do? Fucking war. Ain't God that the you. rough life, fellas. I'm just gonna stare at the ground for a couple minutes. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys have ever been this drunk, but it's totally a possibility. You just stand there with a stupid look on your face, staring at your shoes, hoping you don't puke on your shoes. That's never fun. Especially when you're trying to pick up the ladies and you puke on yourself. What am I to do? A poor wretch whose home was burned to ashes by Sigismund's hordes. It's the worst when you you pick up a lady and she's way too trash and just pukes all over herself. Then you gotta take care of her. It's like it having an adult baby. <laughs> I always end up taking care of them. I always feel so bad. I know what it's like to have puke all over yourself and no one helps you. No one wants to clean up a big fat drunk guy though. <laughs> it's probably why so many of my friends are female because I helped them out when they're too trash to you know, hold their hair up when they're puking. That's the worst. Clean and puke from your own hair. You just feel like a damn right loser. <laughs> That's really why I don't drink anymore. I don't like drinking. How to deal with too many people dying from uh, you know, alcohol poisoning and shit. I 
This is the worst. It's worse than all these fart noises I'm making over here while I'm drunk. One of the weird legal drugs that we have in this country. But then, you know, well, prohibition was proof that you really shouldn't be trying to make alcohol legal. Someone's just going to make money off whatever you make illegal. You know, that's how the black market thrives. So you have to have this balance of, like, evil that's legal. Or someone else will profit off of it. You poor soul. Here, buy yourself something to wear. Thank you, good wife. Thank you. Uh, I wonder how you get in on this uh, begging game. I'll just sit here and grind this all the whole time instead of actually doing worthwhile things like being a knight. <laughs> it would probably be more exciting than watching me pick herbs for like 20 minutes. <laughs> Or standing here drunk, standing against a, a wall while I ramble on about life and being drunk. <laughs> I've lost everything. My home, my family, my livelihood. Be Let's merciful, see, I was homeless good for a while, too. It wasn't really all that fun. It wasn't all that bad, but... It's kind of nice being in a house, not being out in the elements. But the easiest way I, I ever spent making money was flying signs. I'd always be saying things like, need money for my art school project. Or trying to get my dog shots. Because they're pretty much truths. <laughs> Just for about a year there, and when I was going to college, I was homeless. I wouldn't beg, good neighbors, but I'm reduced to this. I'm from Scullets, and well, you know. I don't know if I'm ever gonna drink this much in this game again. <laughs> At least I can see. Oh, that was horrible. So you only want to be like this much drunk. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I think I'm too drunk to go see the a lord. <laughs> Talk to this trader. Good afternoon. I guess the armor is behind her. That's your only one's food, I guess. I see. house I guess pardon me <laughs> Heavens lad you're looking bright-eyed and bushy-tailed last time I saw you I thought you were ready for the priest Well, feeling as good as new. Well, I'm glad to hear it. About that debt. I 
I do not have any money. It'll take me a while longer. <laughs> I understand. There's no hurry. I'm sure you'll honor your debt. Let's maybe sell some of my, uh, my herbs and such. Very engaging gameplay over here, altered games, you know. We get drunk, you know, get a little blind, sell some herbs and such to the alchemist. Riveting gameplay. <laughs> If you do find it riveting, I hope you guys like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And feel free to share the video around, it would really help me out and grow the channel. And if you have any suggestions, uh, please comment down below. Just keep in mind, I'm playing this on a PS4, so I'm not some, some rich guy who can just start forwarding video games left and right. <laughs> You know, if you look in my about section, you'll see my Twitter and my Discord. If you join my Discord, I usually uh, run tabletop RPGs over voice chat on uh, every Saturday, every other Saturday, starting the 19th at uh, about 5.45 p.m. Uh, Mountain Standard Time. If you guys want to join, we're going to be playing Gamma World. So that's kind of the game I'm into right now. I like to play old school games, so. And some new school. I do like Cthulhu, Can Call we do Cthulhu 7th price? edition. That's pretty fun. Why not? And Mongoose Traveler 2nd edition is pretty cool. Traveler is a pretty fun game. Alright, so. So I hope I see you guys there in the old Discord. Have a good day, fellas. Hey, oh, fellas, that's my video. I hope you liked it and you commented down below if you had any suggestions, alright? I hope you're subscribed to my channel because it really helps me out with the feeding the algorithm gods. But you guys have a good game next time, alright? And keep your shield on strong, alright?